Hey y'all, this is Willie Bill. I got a review for you today of uh, this rusty metal horseshoe. Uh, I found this rusty metal horseshoe in my workshop and uh, thought that I would share it with you so that uh, if you're looking for a rusty metal horseshoe, you might understand some of its uses and implications and how it might be able to be used in a, in a survival situation. Uh, this rusty metal horseshoe is a, uh, looks like it's a ringer. It says ringer on it. And I think what that is, that's a sportsman term for when you're playing the horseshoes that you can like get a ringer. I heard, I heard folks say that before. They're like, hey, I play horseshoes and I got, a, I got a ringer. And that's what it says on here. So if you get one of these ones, you get a ringer all the time because I have it right here, my ringer. It's a horseshoe. Um, it's a standard shape, which uh, should be a horseshoe shape. Um, so that's nice. Uh, it's rusty. Uh, I don't know that that's, that's a, a benefit because uh, that kind of tends to let off on your hands and then you get like rusty on your hands. And that, that's not the best. Um, this horseshoe is designed with little hooky things, which, which those can be used, uh, you know, they can like they can like hook on something like that and you could pull on it so so there's something you could do with it maybe underneath your couch or something that's stuck and you you just barely can't reach it but if you have a, a rusty horseshoe like this you could slide under the couch and you could kind of hook that thing and and hook it in and like pull it with the rusty horseshoe um so, so there's something you could do um it's also got a little bit of weight to it which is nice so you could use this for uh like cross fitting uh, where you can you can lift it up because uh, it's white and, and it make you stronger uh, you know people get hung up on they have to go fancy gym where they got all kinds of equipment that isn't rusty uh, when you could just find yourself a rusty horseshoe like this and, and you can lift it and man I feel stronger already look at that look at wheel bills getting ripped here I don't know if you understand uh, but because I got this rusty horseshoe I could do like a like a lift, a deadlift, and a, and a push up, and I could do a, a shoulder rotation, and I'll just get like super ripped. I won't know what to do with myself and be so so strong, all because of a rusty horseshoe. Um, as far as other things, you could use this as like a self defense weapon too. Uh, you know, when you get attacked. Uh, like a bear or something you club it in the head with this thing. Uh, that's something you could do um, You could you could probably do that thing, you know what they call a fish hook could people do They stick like a thumb in their mouth and they like go like that except if you do it with this one It's metal. So it's like way stronger. So like a grizzly bear coming to get you and you're like man What am I gonna do with that grizzly bear? I got no bear spray or nothing. Would that bring anything? Oh I brought my rusty horseshoe. That's perfect. Come on, bear. Come on, you come with me. And then you just hook them. Hook them right in the mouth like that. And then you like, like pull on it. You, you fish hook, you horseshoe hook that bear. It's a technique people don't often speak about, but it's very, it's a highly effective technique. And by using a horseshoe and not your thumb, uh, there's less chance that you get your thumb bit off by the bear because you're using a horseshoe. And you just hook that bear and you you bring that guy down and you let him know you say hey bear don't you come mess with me i got myself a rusty horseshoe and you shouldn't be fooling around these parts go back in the woods go make some bear babies or something and you could release them you like it's like catch and release like all them fish people do you just like unhook it like that and you let that bear go and you wave a horseshoe you don't mess with me bear that's right and that's why you should have a rusty horseshoe with you when you go in the woods to protect yourself from, from bears. That's right. Well, I don't know if there's much more information I could share with you about this rusty horseshoe. Um, clearly, if you're going to be in bear country, I recommend you have one of these. And, uh, and you could use it to protect yourself. Uh, outside of that, just try and make good decisions. Uh, maybe have some bear spray, things like that. So... Uh, that's all for now. Um, if you enjoy these videos, make sure you subscribe, follow that, uh, what is that, at Mental Treadmill. Uh, 
there's lots of uh, things get put up on there, information, so you want to follow that on Instagram and Facebook and all that kind of thing. So uh, go do that, and uh, we'll see you in a week. We're pouring these up every week. So we'll see you next week. Have a great night. Have a great day. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. If you ever get attacked by a bear, you let them know. All right, y'all. Take care. That's right. Have a rusty horseshoe. Yeah, we're good, man. You can really take care of business with that rusty horseshoe. Yep.